Hello Internet and welcome to another Greek tragedy on Uncle Robbie's Science Corner. Okay, well, hey there, Internet. It's me again, your favorite Uncle Robbie. And uh, tonight, we're going to examine my latest Greek tragedy. I don't know if you remember this bass guitar from my, one of my earliest videos called Installing EMG PJX Pickups, the stupid version. Um, well, as you can see, I've taken the, the controls out. I'm going to remove the pickups right now because, well, two reasons. One, um, I hung this up, this literally hung up to, to cure, to, to finish to cure, for a month, okay? And I put, the, I put the pickups in, it was still a little bit soft, and you can see right there, there's, there's, you can see the impression of the battery uh, terminals, because when I laid this base down on the table, to put the pickups in the battery terminal it was laying against the back of the base and it actually impregnated an impression of itself in the back of the base which I said okay no big deal this is for me it's gonna get chewed up with a machine gun bullet belt anyway um, you know good enough for government work the top was perfect but now if you can see I wrapped it up in a towel and of course I stuck it on the shelf and I stuck it on the shelf this way notice didn't get much, too many impressions on the back, but got a lot on the front. You can see that's the towel marks all over this thing. So guess what's got to happen? It's got to be taken apart and resanded. Now the other thing is a lot of a lot of you have been, uh, you know, asking me, they saying, "What is this Fender Precision Bass neck doing here?" Well, this is the neck that's going to marry up to the Thunderbird bass body. And the reason for that is John Entwistle from The Who, who's my favorite bass player of all time. Second comes Lemmy and third comes John Gallagher, obviously, as we've been through that before. Um, had uh, in, in the early Who career, well, you know, 70s, early 70s, he had a bunch of Thunderbird bodies made up. Uh, and he bought a bunch of blonde Fender bass necks. I consider this a blonde one because it's, you know, maple on maple. Um, and what he did was he made a base called uh, Fenderbird. So, ba you know, he took the maple neck from a Fender, bolted it onto a Gibson body with Gibson pickups, and voila, he, he really, that's really when he got his totally like signature sound, you know, um, Quadrophenia, um, wow, uh, Who Are You, um, you know all, all those all those albums he, he did with even even uh even um you know uh, some of the some of the uh, stuff on um on uh God uh, who by numbers if you if you've ever seen the movie Kids Are Alright he John Entwistle is using um his his he calls it his uh Explorer Bird bass which was a Fender neck on Explorer bass body he, and if you if you watch like live at Charlton football grounds. He is playing a, uh, a Thunderbird body bass with a Fender Precision bass neck. So if you don't believe me, you can Google it, look it up on, on uh, the internet. Uh, I guess we all have, must have a computer if we're watching this. And uh, you'll find out all that fascinating in information. Since I'm such a huge, huge Ant Whistle fan, I've always wanted a Thunderbird body. And I found one on eBay uh, from my friend Toro Guitar Works, okay? He's, he's about an hour away from me here in, in upstate New York, and I'm going to venture out and see him sometime, hopefully this week, and uh, do a little, do a little uh, live interview and a tour of his, his shop, maybe buy a couple of bodies. I don't know, you know, me and, me and my, uh, you know, impulse buying. But anyway, 
Here's the second Greek tragedy, okay? I'm going to turn the camera down here right now, okay? If I can. And, uh, all right. The, the base neck, okay, doesn't, doesn't fit into the neck pocket. It's about, it's not even 3 16 It's, it's, I mean, it is so, so, so close, but yet so far away. And, and here's the funny thing. Guys, really, the Wormuth neck fits into here. It's tight, but it fits into the neck pocket. This, it's a made in Mexico fender base neck. It's a little out of fender spec. So the Wormuth neck is actually in better spec than the fender neck. So anyway, no big problem. What we're going to do in the next um, video, in, in this video, we're going to first, we're going to disassemble the base, okay? Uh, well, we're going to take the pickups out. And we're going to basically, using a Dremel tool, my handy dandy dentist drill, we're going to uh, route away some of, the, um, some of the excess neck pockets. So we're going to just kind of come down here. Matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll turn, turn the base around, okay, and get you a better view of it. Okay, see what I'm doing? Maybe zoom in a little bit. Okay. And, uh, how's that? How's that look? You gotta have a little adult beverage. And, of course, you know, what, what, what would be an Uncle Robbie video if I didn't have a lit cigarette dangling out of my mouth? Kids, don't smoke. It's really bad for you. Anyway, this is my Dremel tool. I have a couple of them. This is my favorite one. This is the Dremel 4000. And uh, it sounds like a dentist drill. So if, you're, if you are, are, uh, have a anxiety from the dentist, you probably, won't, you probably want to turn the sound off on this. Um, and if you're British, you're definitely going to want to, because I know how much British people hate going to uh, the toothy. <laughs> Just kidding, I have really British teeth. But uh, anyway, so here we go. It's really easy. Got a, a, a medium grit sanding drum. And I've set it to a speed of about, I don't know, 2,500 RPM, okay? Now, like I said, this was only, only a tiny bit off. So we're going to see if that did it, if that opened it up enough. And boom, voila. One Greek tragedy solved. See that? And look how cool this base is now. All right? Um, I mean, that is, that is right there in the pocket. There was a bunch of guys on, uh, on some Telecaster. Here, let me, let me zoom my camera back out. Okay, ooh, there you go, extreme close-up. And see that? That is the John Entwistle Fenderbird. And that's what it's gonna look like. There was a bunch of guys on the, on the internet, as we all know how wonderful the internet is, for, you know, accuracy, saying that Toro Guitar Works did not uh, fit their necks very accurately. Um, they were hazing this guy. And uh, actually, you know what? I am going to have to take the neck pocket in. All right. I'm going to have to take this in here because this neck needs to come forward. They were, they were hazing the guy who makes these things saying, oh, this doesn't fit this, you know. L let me tell you something, kiddies. Any, any type, type time you're doing a custom instrument like this, there's going to be, there's going to be some fitting to have to be done. I mean, unless you're buying... A warmeth neck and a warmeth body, they are matched up. But I've had problems putting fender, fender necks on warmeth bodies and um, never had a problem putting a, a, a warmeth neck on a fender body though, which is funny. But I've had problem putting fender necks on warmeth bodies because in my opinion, it's the fender necks that are simply not up to spec. So 
I'm going to take the neck pocket down here a little bit more, okay? I'm going to get this in there a little bit more so I can, can just jam this neck down, you know, a, a slightly further. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's, get, let's get zoomed in nice and close here so you guys can really appreciate my handiwork, okay? God, 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 God. That's, uh, that's about as nasty dust as you ever want to get. I shouldn't really be doing this in my living room, uh, but it's the only space I have to work in anymore. So you got the, I got the neck in there fit and pretty, pretty good. Just got to make sure it's down to where the screw holes are matching up. And it looks like, well, you know how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve this, figure out this conundrum, okay? I'm going to take something, what do I have? I must have a screw here someplace or somewhere. Uh, here, you know what? I'll take a long Allen wrench out of my collection of Allen wrenches. And what I'm just going to do is put it through here and give it, I don't know, what I call a, a ding. I'm just dinging the wood to see how much further I have to go to get the screw holes to match up. Okay. And did it think, oh, it's almost, it's almost perfect. Well, you, you can see there's where, there's where my ding, there's where my ding is. It's right at the top of the hole. So I'm gonna, let's just see how this fits because Oh, God. Oh. Can you see that? There you go. Uh. We want, we want the, ah, oh, crap. We want the neck. Let me zoom out so you can see me being frustrated here with my Greek tragedy. Um, we want the neck to fit in here, but we also want it to, to be not cockeyed one way or the other. So right there, it's got enough play. And I think that, I think that this will actually fit it. See? So there you go. I could try, I'm gonna find a screw. I'm gonna test this out, all right, off camera. And, um, I'll be back, so stay tuned for the next half of this. If you notice, I've been actually editing my videos lately, um, just because, one, I figured out how, and two, I've been just sitting around um, playing on my computer since, uh, you know, everything that's been going on. The other thing I'm using tonight is a little lavalier mic, and uh, I'm going to see how that sounds on tonight's video. So when I do go out and do some of my live shots, I'll be able to get a better sound quality. I got some... Um, criticism from my editor he said you need a lavalier mic uh, next time you try and go out and do one of these things because the the uh, 5.1 mics on the camera while they're really good and they pick up everything they when they're facing away from me nobody could really hear what I was saying so anyway um gonna take a little break right now I want everybody to go to the refrigerator get themselves one of their own favorite adult beverages or soft drinks or whatever or you know don't get one go give your children a kiss and a hug because you know what i found out in the last couple of weeks that life is too short and too tragic to 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 waste any time don't don't waste time go out and do shit that you love doing and don't waste another minute anyway love you guys and i'll be right back okay till then keep on rocking the free world Where's my off switch?
Ah! Uh.